Hi, I'm here to show you how to correctly culture a wound. We're going to be using this one as an example. It's just a general open wound on the skin. As far as supplies, you're going to want to make sure that you're prepared with your sterile culture medium transport kit. Plenty of saline, sterile 4x4s and 2x2s or one or the other, gloves, and then plenty of chucks pads to soak up any excess drainage. Now as soon as you remove the old dressing, you're going to want to go ahead and quickly assess the, the wound, making sure to remember uh, the location, the size, the depth, any exudate or drainage, the nature of the tissue within the wound bed, and then the condition of the surrounding skin. So once you do a quick assessment, then you're ready to go ahead and clean up the wound before culturing. You're going to take your saline and your 4x4s and just soak that pretty good and really just mop up any of the excess drainage. You can take this time to do any patient education, um, such as maintaining proper hygiene, keeping the wound clean and dry, um, nutrition, as well as signs and symptoms of infection. You're also going to want to go ahead and irrigate the wound with plenty of normal saline, taking care not to touch the wound with the syringe, and also protecting your eyes from any of the drainage. So once you've got the wound nice and clean, we're ready to take a culture. Make sure that you remove your dirty gloves. Clean your hands real quick with just a little bit of alcohol. If you want to wash them, that's fine too. And then we're going to place clean gloves. And now we're ready to go ahead and take a culture. So you're going to open your culture kit. And remember, this is sterile inside. So when you're removing the red Q-tip end, take care not to touch anything but the inside of the packaging with the ends of the Q-tips, as that will contaminate your sample. So to take the culture, you're just going to gently roll the Q-tips in the wound bed against the open skin, trying to avoid the outside skin if possible. Once you have your sample, remove the culture medium, take off the sterile cap, and carefully place the culture inside the tube, making sure that it's secure. Also remember that you're going to want to make sure that this is labeled with the correct patient label. Then this gets placed in the biohazard bag and sent to the lab. Once we're done with that, you can do a quick wipe down, and then you're ready to place your new sterile dressing. Dressings will be covered in our next segment. Thank you.